basketball blast, Antoine Walker's birth and NBA's Orlando bubble rules unveiled. In a retrospective glance at Boston Celtics history, a significant connection emerges with the birth of former Celtics forward Antoine Walker on this particular day. Originating from Chicago, Illinois in the year 1976, Walker's basketball journey was punctuated by notable achievements. Having honed his skills at the University of Kentucky, he achieved NCAA glory in 1996 before being selected as the sixth pick in the 1996 NBA draft by the Celtics. Walker's early NBA days were marked by a swift ascent, earning him a spot on the all-rookie first team. Interestingly, fate brought him back under the guidance of his college coach, Rick Pitino, who assumed leadership roles in the Celtics organization. This reunion led to a substantial eight-season tenure in Boston, spread across two distinct periods. During his first stint with the Celtics, spanning seven seasons, Walker's prowess earned him three all-star selections. However, his trajectory took a shift when he was traded to the Dallas Mavericks. A twist of fate brought him back to Boston for the 2004-05 season, following a brief tenure with the Atlanta Hawks. Walker's basketball narrative expanded in 2005 through a colossal five-team trade, a move that led him to the Miami Heat, where he ultimately clinched an NBA championship. His time with the Celtics was characterized by impressive statistics, averaging 20.6 points, 8.7 rebounds, and 1.5 steals per game, a legacy that remains etched in the hearts of numerous Boston enthusiasts. Fondly referred to as employee number eight, Walker's impact endures in the annals of Celtics lore. Shifting focus, an intriguing development occurred on this date in 2020, resonating with the contemporary NBA landscape. A memorandum circulated by the NBA elucidated the intricate regulations governing the much-discussed Orlando bubble. This novel concept emerged as a response to the pandemic-induced disruption that halted NBA proceedings for a substantial four-month period. The memorandum established guidelines for players within the isolated confines of the Orlando bubble. Notably, players were granted the liberty to invite up to four pre-established guests, with considerations for children potentially surpassing this limit. 